Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be making a millipede in Miku form. Again, back with another Miku video. So this pattern is going to be linked in the description box below if you want to make your own as well. It's a free pattern and I'm going to be using my own supplies for this video because I don't have the same supplies listed in the pattern. So here I am using a three millimeter hook and I'm also using a four millimeter hook. It's going to be a really giant millipede. <laughs> I don't have DK yarn weight, so we're gonna use worsted. Using the same colors as usual, I got my turquoise, the neon pink, black, yellow. I have red here because Miku does have red, but I may or may not use it. I'm not sure yet. Although I did create a draft on Procreate. I took the original pattern and then I went ahead and create multiple layers, drawing out different ways I could create this Miku millipede. And there's two versions. There's like a short one and then there's like a longer version of the millipede. I want to go ahead and create the long one because I think it looks really cool. The small one looks cute too. It looks like a roly poly, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to create the long one. So for starters, I already went ahead and created this piece. This is like the little antennas, the feelers is what it's called, I guess. So there's supposed to be like two of them on each side. It's gonna be like the horn on the head. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna be back. Okay, so I created two of the feelers and then they're actually supposed to have like about 20 centimeter long of strand and I didn't do that for the first one and mine is like tied off right here. So here is what the head of the millipede looks like. <laughs> I decided to use two strands of one black and the other one is turquoise because Miku is turquoise color. So I decided to mix it up just for the head. This was kind of done out on a whim but I thought give it some different colors rather than just using black and turquoise and like plain colors all the time it's kind of cool to try out a mixture of colors but for the rest of the body i'm probably just going to use two strands of black so that way the legs could be like all turquoise and stuff but yeah this is the current progress so far i'm going to go ahead and attach on the feelers to the head and let's see how it looks like and i finally went ahead and attached on this millipede right here using the antennas to the head Look how large this is. <laughs> Wait, oh my gosh. Kind of reminds me of like those Viking hats with the pointy horns and stuff. This is gigantic. <laughs> so yeah, I have accidentally created a little hat for myself. Currently working on the body part right now. Starting off with black. Here is the chin area. So far so good, I think. I really like how this looks. And I'll be back with another update.
guys, welcome back to another update. This is how large it is. This is giant. So for the little sections, I'm currently finishing up this part right here. And I think I would have made seven of these little columns right here for the main body. And I think that's pretty long enough. Once I'm done with the seventh one, I'm just gonna go ahead and like close it off and hopefully finish off the rest of the body. Like I'm gonna be holding it like this. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty huggable size. And I have like all my dolls right here because I already put up all my dolls. I put up the risers since we are doing a lot of moving around and chaotic. <laughs> By the way, have any of you guys watched anime recently? I've been watching My Dress Up Darling. It has like the main character who's a guy and he creates dolls, specifically Hina dolls, and he meets this girl who likes to cosplay. He ends up making the outfits for her, which I think is really cool. But anyways, I really like that anime. It's cute, it's funny. That's what I've been watching and along with keeping up with One Piece. What else have I been watching? <laughs> right, I finished watching the case study of Vanita season two. I finished World Trigger season three. I'm trying to watch Yashahime, but I'm not like too interested in that anime. I still prefer like the original stuff. And so yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing. And I've been trying to read Heaven Official's Blessing since it's really, really popular. And I pretty much got all the other books from that same author, the novels, and I've been reading that too. At least I've been trying to read. It's pretty good so far, really excited. Hey guys, so I'm back and I want to talk about the current update that I have so far. These are some of the legs that I created from the previous clip. Currently, I've only made about 14 legs so far. It's a lot of work and I'm not even sure if I'm doing this right. Actually, I know I'm not doing this right. They're all turquoise as planned and I stuffed them according to the instructions. So hopefully they're going to look good. Anyway, so here is what? The millipede currently looks like so this is the head of the millipede right and here is the long body so in the other clip i said that i was gonna stop at seven of these little sections right here i ended up creating 10 total just to end on like a nice round even number when it comes to creating the little synchroche borders on the side i'm pretty sure i didn't do it right because i totally do not <laughs> know how to count properly when it comes to these patterns. Some things just didn't match up, especially for like the chin part. I just couldn't get it right. But somehow I forcefully made it come together, like fit in place by either adding on a single crochet stitch or deducting it. I don't think it looks bad. Hopefully it doesn't look bad when I actually stuff it. This kind of reminds me of like the dragon, <laughs> the dragon dance in Asian cultures. It's like the little costumes where they would wear this over their heads and then like they'll start dancing like a dragon. <laughs> That's so cool. This thing is gigantic. This is honestly the largest amigurumi I have attempted by far. It's fun so far. It's definitely something different. I never thought of creating amigurumi this way before and I got a bunch of stitch markers here because I cannot count my stitches either so <laughs> I know the numbers are not gonna add up but if it looks good it looks good. Doesn't matter if I mess up on the stitches, as long as it's not too noticeable, I think I'm okay with that. What else am I doing today? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make the belly after this. The belly is gonna be in yellow. 
and I'm gonna be watching some anime and I'm also currently recording in my bedroom since the house is being painted outside the living room where I usually work so now I am in this really confined spot it's super messy around me and I'm trying my best to like cover the entire mess around <laughs> I got like clothes everywhere that's out of the camera view but yeah <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the final update. Here is the Miku Millipede completely finished. It's pretty long, but it's not too long. I'd say it's a good medium size. Pretty happy with it so far. So what I did over here for the head was I gave two hair ties, the Miku hair ties. And originally I was thinking about giving this millipede a separate place for like the hair, <laughs> even like to give it pigtails but I decided not to. I went ahead and put the little hair ties where the antennas were since the antennas are also turquoise. So this will make up for the pigtails. And right on the bottom where the chin is, I put the O1 in red since I feel like that is pretty important. So I'm glad I was able to fit in this detail. Super happy with how it turned out. Okay, so as for reference, I'm using my Homura Dakimakura. This is a 160 centimeter. And this is, I have no idea, but comparison to it, it's almost as long as the Dakimakura. <laughs> I don't have a proper pillow inside. The one I'm using is like your standard American pillow. So it pretty much stops right here. And that's how long this the millipede is as well. So it's not too bad. I think it's like a good medium size. I wish I could have made it longer though, but I was kind of worried that I didn't have enough supplies. So I stopped right here and it's totally cool. It works out pretty well. And as far as this millipede goes, I think creating 10 columns, the body segments, if you only make 10, it's only good enough that the millipede can fold in half. However, if you wanted to fold it into like a spiral shape, it's probably best to create at least 20 body segments. So that way it's long enough and it can curve around itself. Okay, so here is the millipede again when I'm holding it like this. <laughs> so I believe in total, I probably made about 48 legs, so less than 50 legs. And I looked up millipede. So the millipede in general has like this type of body, right? And I thought that, of course, common misconception that millipedes have like a thousand legs or something while centipedes have at least a hundred legs, but that's actually not the case at all. Centipedes don't even have a hundred legs, I think most of the time. And millipedes can have as little as 40 legs to maybe over 400 legs. And mine happens to have about 48, so that's not bad, I think. 
this millipede was a success. I mean, yeah, I'm really happy with it. So I did stuff mine kind of firm, even though I believe the instruction says to stuff it lightly just enough to get the shape so that way you can like bend it. But with this stuffing that I use, I noticed that over time it does kind of get softer and the inside gets like super squishy. So I didn't stuff it too firmly, but it is quite firm just a little bit and hopefully over time it'll be like a little bit more bendable really happy with how it turned out hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog and hopefully you crocheted along with me it's something different that i'm trying out if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and a subscribe if you're new here thank you guys so much for watching i'll be back with another video soon bye <laughs>